time is everywhere. You cannot escape time. Time is absolutely everywhere. You cannot escape time. Time will always be the driving factor of life and death inside of our lives. Yet if you're on self-improvement, time is your friend, my friend, watching this video. Because time, it's a scarce resource. Everyone only has a finite amount of time on this planet. You must understand that to sort of be able to make progress in things in life. You cannot live forever, unfortunately. And while that doesn't mean that you should go and do stupid things and enjoy yourself because you only live once, because I will explain why that's potentially a bad mindset to have later in this video, time is finite and you have to use it as best as you possibly can to maximise your sort of welfare and your enjoyment and your fulfilment and your purpose inside of life. Many people who aren't on self-improvement, time is their enemy. Time is not their friend. Time is their... Time is their mortal nemesis because time is something that is acting against them with every waking hour of every single day. Many people who aren't on self-improvement, while they may do a few good things, they may go to the gym every couple of weeks, they may eat it healthily every sort of once a month or whatever when before they end up breaking their diet and stuff. Many people who aren't on self-improvement, with every waking hour of the day, time is working against them constantly because they are not doing anything to build their future. They are not sort of helping out their future self in any way, shape or form. They are simply detrimenting their future self, making their future self hate their current self, even though they don't really know that. They don't really understand the philosophical and psychological side of that sort of mindset to have. They are simply not building anything out of what is their life, their time on this earth. And they are simply just enjoying the present and not understanding that the future will become the present 10 years down the line when time eventually does its thing and acts. But if you are on self-improvement, do not worry because time is on your side. No matter how many times you think that you're not doing enough, you're not making enough progress, you're not doing this, you're not making enough progress in your business, you're not making enough progress in the gym, you're not making enough progress in your diet, your weight loss, your bulk, anything that exists, your studies, no matter what, you name it. If you are on self-improvement, if you have that specific mindset, which I'm going to go through as a little bit of a rant at the end of this video. If you have that mindset of self-improvement ingrained into your brain, you have time as your friend and time is on your side. Because no matter what happens, you will always be able to make it out. Time is not going to be beating you down and stopping you from making any progress like the people who are detrimenting their future selves. Time will be able to help you and build you up and be a better person. Because when you continue to go to the gym, when you're not seeing results, when you continue to go on runs, work out, do those CrossFit workouts, even if you're not seeing results, time is on your side because time will help you through those tough times in a weird sort of way. Time will help you. Time will go on. Years will pass. And before you know it, time has transformed your life because you decided to stick with something for the long run and time benefited you invariably this can apply to so many walks of life not just the generic diet the gym the business the this that the other time being on your side is just a fundamental mindset to have if you're on self-improvement but it's also quite a weird reassurance thing because i know so many people on self-improvement who don't think they're making enough progress in the gym in the business in this in that in the diet including myself i full fail to these sort of self-hatred thoughts not really self-hatred but once i have these negative thoughts this sort of impulse of thought what that i'm not good enough i'm not making enough progress i always come back to the fact that time is on my side when years passed i will have built things that many people couldn't have even fathomed like many years before because i'm benefiting my future self by going through the process of delayed gratification I'm going to hopefully build my dream physique, the physique that means I can be as athletic, as strong, as sort of toned as I possibly can all at once because I started going to the gym at a young age compared to everyone else who only maybe have started at like an older age or didn't even bother going to the gym at all and then suffer the consequences later on in life. But so many people just seem to get this sort of self-hatred mindset that they're never good enough despite the fact that the fact that time is on your side is the best resource that you could possibly have. Time is the most important scared, scarce resource that there is. Nothing on this planet is free because everything takes up time, because time is continuous, it's infinite. There is no place that is without time. It's, yeah, it's weird. That's quite economical and philosophical in a way. 
but time is such an interesting topic and if you're on self-improvement you will not hate time but you would love time because it will absolutely give you the best benefits in the world a year ago i was struggling to get into fitness i couldn't really properly work out as much but now i'm more disciplined i get up every single morning to do crossfit workouts and then on the weekends on holidays etc i will go to the gym and do proper weightlifting workouts but i know the fact that time is on my side and I will inevitably make progress in these walks of life. But before, I just couldn't exactly grasp that concept. I thought I needed everything completely given to me. And still, I get those sort of now, 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 now thoughts that I need this stuff now. I need money now. I need this now. I need that now. But because of the fact that I always have to come back, this video is a way of me coming back to the fact that I know time is on my side. I will benefit invariably from the people that are using it to their detriment and have it as their enemy, not their friend. You have to understand this. And I'm now going to go and talk about the sort of mindset of self-improvement, which really helped me quite a lot. Just imagine... Just imagine someone who hasn't really been exposed to the sort of modern day self-improvement content, but is still a generically quite a healthy person in life. Imagine that they sort of don't really have that mindset of self-improvement they haven't defined themselves as being on self-improvement they're just sort of living the life that they want to live which is no bad thing by the way but when you have the mindset when your brain is hardwired to self-improvement mode in a weird kind of way your life will change dramatically i love this sort of thing that i sort of came up with like at least 10 ish months ago the sort of mindset the rewiring, the rewiring of the brain to self-improvement mode is something that will benefit you invariably. It doesn't take any sort of investment of money or time or anything like that. I mean, it will take an investment of time, duh, as I previously just said before, but just literally implant into your mind, ingrain into your mind, my brain is now on self-improvement mode. No matter how my life trajectory turns out in the next month, maybe, I know that it will improve from then on because my brain is on self-improvement mode. I'm doing things that build my future self, benefit my future self. My brain is on self-improvement mode and I will continue to go on this exponential trajectory because of my mindset, because of the game mode in a way that I'm playing on. Self-improvement, lifelong learner. When you sort of don't do these things, when you're not when you don't have this mode in your brain that you're on self-improvement, it becomes so much easier to sort of fall fail to the balance and moderation. Not the balance and moderation, da, da, da. it's such an awful, um, explicable thing, but it becomes so much easier to fall to ego and arrogance when you don't have that mindset of self-improvement. If you ingrain it into your brain, you will stay on self-improvement for the next hundred and billion years of your life, however long you pretend you however long that you end up eventually living, your mind will be ingrained with self-improvement. And I personally think that's no bad thing because I honestly think that it means that you just won't end up falling fail to anything that sort of comes to your path. The snake that sort of tried to trick even Adam into eating the apple in the Garden of Eden or whatever, that kind of Bible parable or whatever, you simply won't have those things happen to you because you have that mindset ingrained into your mind that is self-improvement mode. I really hope that you do this because I've been doing it for the last 10 months or so and I really can't see myself stopping with this sort of self-improvement mode inside of my head. And with that, that's about what I want to talk about in this video. But I would also highly recommend subscribing because I love this community of young tribal people who are willing to improve themselves so much more than you already have. And good luck.